in today's video we are going to talk about windows 10 with the windows xp theme myself mohammad zubair and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid it pro really fast so without any further ado let's get started Well, this is my Windows 10 and I'll show you that how you can convert it with the Windows XP theme. To do so, you will have to download some of the files. First one is a skin pack for your Windows XP. Then you need some images for your Windows XP theme. And at the end, you will need a tool that is called as OpenShell. So first of all, let's download XP skin pack. I will put the link in the description of this video as well. So from here, go to the windows section so i will just click on it it will open a new window for us and then from here we'll look for windows xp theme so i will just scroll down and i look for windows xp skin pack so here it is so i'll just click on this one so this is how it's gonna look like if you scroll down down here it will give you the option to download this skin pack for free so i will just keep scrolling down and here we have the option we can download full version for around $5 and we can also download the free version which will be the light version obviously so I'll go with the light version because it will be enough for me so I'll just click on it here it says no icon and extra for Windows 7, 8, 10, 11 we do not have to worry about it because I'll show you that how you can download icons as well so now I'll go to this page and from here I'll just click on skip and download XP skin pack it will download a file for me and here we have the download link we have two ways that we can download this one. First one is skin pack XP for Windows 7, 8, 10 and for Windows 11 we have a separate file. I'll go with the first option because we are going to do this for Windows 10. So I'll just click on this one. So here we have a file. I'll just start download process and it will download in a minute. So I will just open this one and now here we need to enter the password and the password is skinpacks.com hit enter and now it is ready to be extracted so this is the destination where it is going to get extracted i will extract it onto my desktop so this is my desktop i'll create a new folder i will name it as skin pack after that just click on ok and now just click on extract it will extract all the files for us and now i'll head back to my desktop so here we have our folder with the name of skin pack and here we have a new folder basically we will extract and we will run the program from our new folder and everything will be stored in this folder. So you should keep those folders for your convenience. So I'll just open my new folder and this is my program. Now it's time to run this program. So I will just open it and it is unpacking our program. So after that, we'll start the installation process. So this is how it looks like. So just click on next, accept the license agreement, click on next. And now we just need to click on install and we do not need to change any of these things. So I'll just click on install here and now it will start the installation process in our Windows 10. From here, just click on next, click on finish and here it is asking us to reboot our system or if you want to reboot it afterwards, you can do so. But I'll reboot it now so that all the changes can take place permanently into my Windows 10. So I'll see you after the restart of my system. We are done with the reboot of our system. Now to put the XP theme onto our Windows 10, again, we need to go to our taskbar setting or you can open the system setting and you can go to the themes as well. So I'll go to the themes and if you scroll down, here we have Windows XP. So I will just click on this one. And now this theme will get applied onto my Windows 10. If I just close this window, here you can see, this is how it looks like now. And let's open our file explorer and let's see if the changes has taken place onto the whole system or not. So I'll just open my file explorer and this is how it looks like. Here you can see that everything is looking like Windows XP. Here you can see the icons and different arrangements of our repositories, taskbar and everything. So I'll just close this now and now we need to go to our taskbar once again. So I'll right click on here and I will open my taskbar. From here, we have to do some things. For example, first of all, here it says show badges on taskbar button, leave it as it is and here it says combine taskbar button. If you just click on this option, from here we have an option that says never. You should go with this one. So I'll just click on this one 
and now we have tabs for everything onto our taskbar and here we have an option that says use small taskbar button so i'll just go with this option as well and here we have everything in small now after you are done with this one go to your color section from here we'll select a color if you scroll down we'll go with the blue one which is this one after that scroll down one more time and here we have two more options that says show accent color on the following surfaces go with both of them i'll just click both of them in here and we are done with everything that was needed to be done for our taskbar so i'll just close this window and now we need to download our open shell the link is given in the description just scroll down and here we have our open shell and just click on this download button it will open a new page for you so from here we'll download the latest version which is this one so just click on the .exe file and it will start the download process so i'll just click on start download after that just click on open now we will install it into our system just click on next agree with the license agreement click on next now again click on next and now just click on install and now the installation process has just begun click on finish and we are done with this one as well now we need to download this zip file basically in this file we have all the icons or you can say all the images that we need so i'll just download this file as well i will change its destination i will download it onto my desktop so i'll just click on save and now i'll just click on start download and it has been downloaded as well and now we need to extract all these files so i'll just double click on it and now i'll just extract it onto my desktop so we are done with this one as well i'll just close this one and let me show you what do we have in here so here we have all the menus that we might need for our start menu button and now let's see if the start menu has been changed or not so if i just click on my start button here you can see everything has been changed and now let's open our open shell from here we can select the themes you can go with the classic one or you can go with the classic with two columns or you can go with the windows 7 style obviously we know that in windows xp we have two columns so i'll just go with this one and after that we just need to click on select skin from here we just need to go with windows xp lona so we are done with this one i'll go back and after that just click on replace start button after that from here click on custom and from here click on pick image so i'll just click on that and from here i'll go to my desktop and here i have my orbs folder that we had downloaded from here select any picture that you want to keep for your start button i'll go with the second one and after that i'll just click on okay but before that let's have some more settings related to our taskbar so if i just click on my taskbar from here just click on customize taskbar after that go with the opaque option and now just click on okay we are done with this one as well and now once again i'll go to my taskbar settings and this time i'll again change the color and i'll check the color that is relevant to windows xp which is this one and here you can see our color has been changed successfully so i'll just close my settings now and now we need to do one more thing we need to open our system settings for our pc so i'll open any of the file explorer or any of the folder from here and from here on my this pc i'll right click i'll go to its properties from here go to your advanced system settings click on settings and click on adjust for best performance from here we have some of the option that says slide open combo box select this option and then click on smooth edges for screen fonts i'll just check this one as well after that click on apply and just click on ok and i will just close this window and we are done for all the things that were needed to be done in order to have windows xp theme and let's see if the changes have taken place or not and let's see if the windows xp theme have been applied or not so here we have the start button of windows xp and if i just click on this we have the theme of windows xp onto our start menu as well and i have already shown you that it just looks like a windows xp theme when i open my file explorer as well as you can see i have the repositories their icons and everything just looking like a windows xp and that brings us to the end of today's video I hope now that you must have enjoyed this one and you will experiment this one onto your Windows 10 as well. And if that is the case, please leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.